Hello, nerdlings. What up, nerdlings? Say that is one sharp looking Isn't shirt. Is it a sharp shirt? Wow, where did you get that shirt? I got this straight from BGM because I won it from them. Well, congratulations. They're, thank you. <laughs> they were doing a fun little contest on their page, and I was chosen to win. So, so I got me a free shirt. Not only do we have uh, some nice pseudo matching shirts, but the question is, do you nerd? Burr, 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 for BGM! I'm just glad my shirt's not black. Look at this. This thing is like bursting. I mean, it's. I'm going to get punched in the face. Fine. That's what I'm talking about. Look at that. Wow. Woo! Floyd like, a little like bit too much box, for breakfast. The box is actually creasing because it can't close. So much goodness in here. Whoa! It's even you can't pulling even sit that on the stand. Over. So, <laughs> let's recap. VGM stands for Video, Video Games, Games Monthly. Monthly. Ba -la -la -la. <laughs> and these are retro games starting from Atari and Intellivision days, working all the way up to the Wii U and I believe maybe Wii PS3 Wii now. Wii U, Wii U, Wii U. And they are sent straight to you. You get to keep them. Uh, there's all kinds of tiers, like 3, 5, there's up to a 10 power pack box, and they always pack them with fun goodies and everything. And there's usually a 1 up, 2 up, 3 up, what did I say that one time, a bazillion up or something? I know, I'm still waiting on that one. <laughs> I'm waiting for that bazillion up. Now, she likes to surprise I me do. and hand these to me blind, so she will get to open it. I'm blind, I'm blind. <laughs> Alright, so, first, first, first. <laughs> so, first of all, this is the card. Reminding you to populate a list online so that you do not get any duplicates. Ooh, the games are cold. And then we got a one up. Now we subscribe to the three game box, so this means a fourth game just for us. This game has a suppository on the front of it. <laughs> That's <laughs> not. That's what it looks like. <laughs> All right. So first we have. Alleyway. So doesn't that look like a suppository? I see where you're going with that. But, it's uh, a little man in a capsule and they're going to inject him into your body so you can run around and and identify viruses. Wow. She's thought this through. I just came up with that. <laughs> so Alleyway is actually a breakout clone. Uh, breakout, breakthrough. Breakout. I think Arkanoid is another name for them. She's all over the place. <laughs> And uh, that is actually no random little man. That is Mario in there. He's piloting the ship. Oh. Oh, yeah. He's in the suppository. <laughs> well, how do you think he became a doctor? Oh. Uh, he knows the ins and outs. Anyway, oh. now I have to admit that uh, I like the uh, the breakout breakthrough games, all the you know block breaking games like that. I always think they're fun. And I've actually wanted the Game Boy one for a while, just because I know that they have bonus stages where the blocks will look like, uh, they look like Mario, I think there's like a Koopa oh, one, neat. and stuff like that. I think they're little like bonus stages, but, uh, so this is very cool. And I always like getting handheld games just because I don't like the prices of handheld games in our location. You ready for the next one? Ready. It's a Sega game! And not just any Sega game, but a Sega Master System game. Nice. It's 3D. So, uh, Zach's on 3D, and check this out. Complete, we got the manual and the cartridge, which is very cool. Um, so the thing is, it says right here, Sega 3D glasses required. And that's kind of a problem. Because the Did Sega... this come with the 3D glasses? That's what I'm getting at. Oh. The Sega 3D glasses, they weren't like the typical red and blue paper ones. Oh. Uh, like some of the NES games, I think you could get those, like with Rad Racer. Mm -hmm. The Sega Master System ones, they actually sat on your head. 
Were they kind of like the ones you get from the movie theaters? Kind like, were they like the actual glasses? Yeah. Uh, future Tom will show you right here. So what do you think? <laughs> <laughs> um, but the problem is, they're not easy to find, and oh. they're definitely not cheap. And in either event, when you find them, either they're broken or they're prone to breaking real easily. Yeah. Uh, the weird thing about this, though, if you're familiar with Zaxxon, so this, you're basically, like, behind the ship, mm -hmm. shooting into the distance. Now, the original Zaxxon, it was like mm -hmm. a, a weird isometric. Oh, so, like it, those. yeah, especially for a shooter, that seems like a very yeah. odd choice. So I'm actually fine with this one because I think that I will do a little better on this than the isometric one. You know what's fun about Zaxxon? What's fun about Zaxxon? I actually have a board game. Well, let's see. I do. Ready? Oh my gosh! Look at that! <laughs> Look, I have a board game for Zaxxon! Nice. So, uh, in her never-ending quest to get all kinds of tabletop games, she's also been picking up some of the arcade ones. I have ones. been. And there's a lot of them out there. We have a good number of them, but like there's a, a lot we don't have. Will you volunteer for a dangerous mission? There's a little, like, robot computer and there's little ships in it and everything. There's a lot of... It's it's kind of intricate. We haven't played this one yet. That's kind of fun. <laughs> Zax on Zaxxon! for days. Zax right, on? Zax off. N I knew you were going <laughs> for that. As soon as I said it. Next, next game. It's a... Sega sort of game. Sega sorta. So, oh. It's GameCube, but it's Sonic. So it's the Sonic Mega Collection. Ooh. And great hits. So seven great hits plus extra games and bonus features. It's got tails and knuckles. So on this one, no booklet on the inside, but we do have the disc. And what do you think? It's pretty good to me. I don't even know if it's been played. Aww. Poor there's Sonic. like not even any kind of rings on it or anything. Now, there's a lot of great Sonic games on here. You've got your typical one, two, and three Knuckles, and then like the 3D Blast, mm -hmm. Pinball, Robotnik's Mean Bean Machine. Um, if I remember correctly, some of the unlockable games on here were actually like other Sega games, so it wasn't just oh, Sonic fun. games. So, uh, Ristar, I believe, is one, and Never it's... Heard of that. The reason I bring that one up is because it's kind of a, a colorful action platformer, uh -huh. but any time I see it or hear it, I swear it's a knockoff Sonic game. <laughs> Because the way it looks, the way it sounds, kind if of, it's kind of the way here, it plays. It makes sense. That makes sense, yeah. The only thing is, I will note that the Sonic Mega Collection Plus came out later for, I believe, PS2. And it had additional Sonic games. Uh, like, it actually had some of the Sonic games from the Game Gear oh. on it. So that's, that's kind of the better version to get. But I always like adding stuff to the GameCube library. It's kind of fun. This one says it's two-player alternating or two-player simultaneous. So it's back in the day when you actually, you know, multiplayer was in the same room. <laughs> so that's my kind of multiplayer. I don't like online playing. Well, sometimes it was a lot of fun to play the Sonic games with someone right there with you because uh, they can't do a whole lot as Tails, but... If they knew what they were doing, they could actually pick up Sonic and help you fly to like higher levels and everything. <laughs> or, uh, or if they were a nice enough buddy, since Tails is immortal, you could send them after Doctor Robotnik oh. and <laughs> let them attack him while Sonic's just standing over there tapping his foot, being impatient. Nice. All right, so that's three down. Here's the last one, and so it's our bonus one, Road Rash Two. Oh, neat! I don't think I've ever played Road Rash Two. So opening it up. Rashes is, are never fun. It is one of those big electronic art cartridges, no manual. But uh, I like the Road Rash games. They're fun. They're the ones that you can have like a, a chain or a bat. Oh gosh, yeah, they're like the screenshot at the bottom. There, <laughs> two guys are totally beating the crap. Looks like the White Ranger and the Green Ranger are fighting oh, each other. That's nice. Freudian. <laughs> so that's pretty neat. 
Um, yeah, I'll have to check that out because I'm pretty sure I've only ever played the oh, first one. What system is this one on? On the Genesis. Sega Genesis. But yeah. it's got that weird, oh, yeah, it larger does. cartridge. It does. Weird. Uh oh. Oh my gosh, that was exciting. And we have a gift in the box. By the way, thanks, Peter and future Tom. Alright, so our gift from them this time is Old School Game Magazine. And this is actually a really really cool magazine. Special Gamer Con issue. Mm -hmm. Nice. But look, Mario's playing Pac-Man. The Burger Time guy is playing Donkey Kong. Uh, Link is playing Space Invaders and he's peeking on Donkey Kong <laughs> for some reason. Then you got Crash playing Dig Dug. Nice. Oh, check it out. So you've got Frogger eating a Space Invader. <laughs> uh, there's a little slime. There's, there's Bonk. And he's got a bag with a Zelda fairy on it. There's so much fun stuff going and on there. You have, it uh, looks like Billy Mitchell here hanging out with uh, Laura Croft and Chun Li and Walter Day from Twin Galaxies Arcade. And we've got Floyd on the cover there. Oh, sneaky, very sneaky. Bomberman's <laughs> running Floyd into the place. You got a uh, Pikachu chasing a ghost and chasing, Dig Dug. Dig Dug, and there's it's... a centipede chasing them. <laughs> there is so much. I want this as a poster. Up top, you have a Bobo busting through a Donkey Kong board, and a, he's scaring the color right out of a ghost, turning them blue. That is so cool. There's even more going on. Holy on the back. cow. Look at all oh, that. Oh, got a golden axe. Nice. There's a. Tornico from Dragon Quest, and it looks like he's picking up a lunar game. Ooh. Interesting. So, not only is he in RPGs, but he likes his RPGs too. Wow, there's a lot there going is on. There's so here. much going on on there. So, Old Let's School see. Gamer Magazine, it's really neat because they actually go through a bunch of just retro stuff. It's like being back in the day. Uh, nice article, Why Collect Video Games. Because they're awesome. <laughs> <laughs> oh, talking about the fatalities for Mortal Kombat. That is really neat. These are very fun. Ah, uh, interview with Video Games Monthly. Hmm, so that must be why they uh, packed oh, in a fun. copy of the magazine. I can honestly say, like, after you read the magazine, I could see us, like putting this on the wall like this. Oh, definitely. Just so that you could, you know, you just have that whole front image there. There's so much going on. That is, All I love pictures Easter like Easter eggs that, mm -hmm. that you can see in there. It's one of those things, every time you pass by it, you'd probably notice something different. Yeah, you would different. notice something completely different. So cool. Well, I have to admit, this was a pretty great box. Yeah. Uh, definitely got some games that I wanted, for one. Always like getting GameCube games. Game Boy games and love getting stuff in the box, especially when it's complete, like the Zaxxon yes. 3D. That's very awesome. Well, and that's obviously why our box was so bulging, is because we had three good sized boxes. Yeah, in there. yeah, definitely. So, I'm about to burst forth with gaming goodness. <laughs> so, a lot of fun stuff. Nerdlings, be sure to give the video a like and leave some comments down below on any of these games or anything that you saw here today. And you might as well go check out VGM for yourselves. Yeah. And get a box coming to your house. Get a box coming to your house. Look at this. Yeah. Look at what you're missing out on. It pays to All leave comments because I want a free shirt based on commenting. <laughs> so. <laughs> and uh, you're absolutely free to share the video if you would like to. And subscribe hit that notification bell we are always putting videos up and you never know what the next video yep. is going to be because half the time we don't know what the next video is going to be we fly by the seat of our pants but we're consistent <laughs> <laughs> at least don't forget to like us on facebook twitter and instagram so that you can tell when a video is dropped because sometimes youtube just doesn't tell you <laughs> and let you know what we're doing out about in the real world and to see pictures of the world that we live in all kinds of fun stuff just everything <laughs> and hit us up over there on tee public and get some shirts or tapestries or pillowcases <laughs> or tote bags or coffee <laughs> mugs or stickers there's a lot we want to see pictures of your stuff so let us know in the comments below what you got in your future definitely all right i think we're a little over excited because we got a lot of great stuff here we did, yes <laughs> i'm gonna go read my magazine now bye nerdlings bye nerdlings
that's ready? a big secret of what we're filming because it's not like we have shirts on. <laughs> board, what's the board game? I don't know. With a Z. I don't know. It's a video game one. <laughs> okay, if I just cut all that out. Let, let me let me check the script. Let me. <laughs> oh, stop it. Um, I don't know. Fine. You messed it up, didn't you? No. <laughs> it wouldn't register my fingers too cold. <laughs> Look, you gave me no. <laughs> you may only have half a video. Okay, fine. Go back. You know what's fun about Zaxxon? What's fun about Zaxxon? I actually have a board game. Well, let's see. I do. Ready? <laughs> or you could have just picked it up. <laughs> Peter and future Tom. Why? You knocked the game over, so I'm gonna try to put in the. Whoa, oh, that was. That was exciting. Okay, ready? Yes. 